Hello folks, here to talk about NVIDIA graphics cards and ESXi and this should work for AMD graphics cards as well. Um, I've been kind of struggling with this for a long time trying to figure it out. I've, you know, it's one of those things every once in a while I get to it and I spend a few hours doing it and you know trying to get it to work and it never happens but today I actually got it to work and it was actually really simple uh, the biggest thing well there's two biggest things that helped me out um, one was Well, obviously, you know that you go into your hardware PCI devices and you set your devices with the pass through. And then after you do that, you'll have to reboot your machine and it'll come up to where in your devices you'll be able to hit edit, add another device and a PCI device, which I already have mine, so I won't click it, and you just select your your graphics card, which this one's just got a GT710 in it, nothing special. Um, another thing is under video card, I have auto detect settings, and, oh, okay, actually, yeah, you click enable 3D support. So since my VM is running, I can't click any of this. But that's the biggest thing as far as the GUI installation. If you go and give credit where credit is due, I did a Google search and actually came up with this. Uh, it's ptr.io running NVIDIA cards with VMware ESXi. They explain that it's kind of hard for a operating system, Windows, to recognize the video card unless it thinks it's a real computer. So by adding this line here to under settings, VM options, advanced edit configuration, you add a parameter there and you say hypervisor CPU ID V0 false, which actually I'll sh show you that. Um, that is in the GUI. So it will be in VM options, advanced, and then you'll click it, edit, and sorry, edit configuration, and you go down to Pass it, yeah. And you'll add this entry right here. Hypervisor.cpuid.v0 and then in the value you'll put false. And that tells the the operating system running on your virtual hardware that it is not a virtual machine. And it shows up just fine down here. So the other thing I did, and I'm actually not totally sure if this helped, it, it may have. I, I kind of did a boo-boo and did two things at one time. <laughs> so um, if you SSH into your ESXi box, which I'll go ahead and do that. Log in as your root. Okay, and what it says here is that you'll navigate to slash Etsy slash VMware slash pass through dot map and you'll edit that. So 
what I like to do is just we'll copy this. And then the VI is included. Right click. Okay. And that'll bring up the uh, the pass through attributes. So you go down, you go down. And mine says NVIDIA, that's because I have an NVIDIA card in there. Yours may say ATI. All I did was make sure that this was FFFF. And then right here, it says link. That's because I edited it that way. Um, it used to say bridge. And this is where I'm a little iffy. Like, I don't know if that really helped or anything. But it's working now, and I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I'm not really sure. So after you do that configuration, you'll reboot your ESXi server. Or uh, if you're using VMware Player or whatever. I'm not actually sure if that's an option in VMware Player or anything. Um, so if it is, you know, maybe you could uh, let us know down in the comments. But anyway, uh, after I did that, I came through and I re-added my PCI device. I actually had to go back and re-tick, uh, you know, enable it for pass-through again, reboot the device, and then I was able to go to the virtual machine I wanted to connect that card to and add it back in there in the in the settings so I thought maybe this would be helpful to other people I will put the links to these uh, I guess you'd call it knowledge bases in the links below just so you know and hopefully this helps somebody out thanks